Welcome to the latest in our series of masterclasses hosted by the Centre for Leadership Performance. Can I introduce you to our guest speaker, John Peters. John is an experienced speaker of international repute. John came to the attention of the world in 1991 when he and his navigator were shot down by Iraqi forces and captured. They suffered a seven week ordeal of torture and interrogation which took them to the limit and brought them close to death. John is also Director of Performance of the Executive MBA at Aston University and John plans to share his journey with us. It's terribly un-British really, you know, who's a leader because the moment someone does this, someone else probably says, I wouldn't follow them, you know, be... but actually there is this choice between, it's not just people have got to choose to lead as well as people who choose to follow you, how does that define you as a leader? But actually there's also almost an arrogance, isn't there? You know, the moment you kind of go, well, I'll lead. But actually, when you say decision-making, leaders make decisions and they deal with uncertainty. Leaders take us beyond where we would go ourselves. And therefore, that implies a decision and it means coping with pressure and new, stating new things. So actually, this reflection of, well, what sort of leader am I and how do I deal with the unknown is, is fundamental. And basically, what happened to me, I did, as best as we tried to predict ahead, it was uncertain. I didn't know. I was thrown into a world I had no knowledge of at all really and it's making it up as you're going along the other thing i've had to get used to is this word courage everyone throws this word courage so easy oh you're so courageous what happened to me was not courage courage is about choice leadership is about choice dealing with pressure is about making a choice you know and you don't have to be a fighter pilot you don't have to be in the military to understand that you think over the last couple of years and maybe in your business now it's about the choices you've had to make the tough choices when you've had to make someone redundant, someone you care about, or shut down a business, when you've built that business for 10 years and you've suddenly had to make a real choice because it's those are the difficult choice, those take courage. And you don't have to be in the military to understand that. And probably over the last number of years with the, the, the challenges of the economic times, you say, how, how many people have, uh, have you seen who had the courage to make those big decisions? Leadership is about having the courage to make a choice because it is the right thing to do, however it affects you as an individual. Accept where you are now. We hang on to the past. How do you do that? Forgive yourself. Hands up who predicted the credit crunch. Exactly. Oh, why could I not have done that? Because you didn't. Accept where you are. And then, by forgiving yourself, that gives you the opportunity to learn. Why? Because the moment you forgive yourself, you accept that you make mistakes. The moment you accept that you make mistakes, you start to learn from those mistakes. When you start to learn from those mistakes, you start to adapt. When you start to adapt, you start to change. And when you change, you suddenly will never lose. What did I do? I coped. Did I enjoy it? No, I coped. Where do you get that belief from in uncertainty? Do you know you get it from your past? All the things, if I added up in this room, all the lost love or the failed exams, the failed job interview, if I added up all the failures in this room, you're here, you coped, didn't you? And what are those? Those are the stories we tell our kids to say, look, I learned from this failure. I learned from my disappointment. And you are made stronger by it. I hope some of these thoughts uh, resonate with you. But in dealing with your decisions and the tough decisions and choices you have to make, dealing with uncertainty, why do you lead the way you do? And actually find something that's meaningful and purposeful to you. So thanks very much, indeed, and I wish you all the best. I thought John Peters' story was spellbinding and absolutely gripping. My expectations were completely exceeded because I thought after 21 years, you know, he might have told this story a few times, but it was as fresh as it has happened yesterday. And I thought there was loads of transferable learning for, you know, the leaders in the room thinking, wow, yes, this, this is about resilience, this is about coping, this is about making decisions and reflecting on everything that's going on and constantly relearning to cope with whatever's going to hit you next. So I got a lot out of it. 
I think it was inspirational and it was something that affected us all and I think the power of the media um, as, as discussed it made a hero out of a gentleman in a, in a really difficult position. Excellent talk, I think I was surprised at the emotional content, not quite what I expected, uh, really interesting, uh, you know, fantastic experience and his application to, shall we say, everyday business was quite interesting, his approach also. You learn something from each of these events and you take something away and uh, even if you just apply small lessons as you go along it makes a difference.